Hi guys, good morning. I hope everyone is doing well. Today is Monday. Welcome back to the vlog. So anyways guys, have you been watching the new series that I've been posting? What it takes. If you have not been watching those series guys, what are you doing? Like, those series are so good. They're so motivational. I love them. Proud of the project, guys. What it takes is a series of me give you guys tips on what it takes to become a successful Medicare or insurance agent. And I also interview other um, agents as well. And I let them do most of the talking. I do that on purpose. So that way we can get other viewpoints, right? We can learn from other people. And let me tell you, since I've been doing this, I have been getting a lot of support from other agents. People literally inboxing me, DM me, giving me pointers and like interest in my success. So that's awesome. That's awesome. That is awesome. I'm going to say it again. That's awesome. So anyways, guys, go ahead and watch the series, What It Takes. Really great information. Really great agents on there that I'm interviewing. So anyways, guys, guess what? I know. I know. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with the window cleaning, okay? <laughs> I found a cheat sheet, guys. A cheat sheet. And I had to share it because it's like, oh my God, this is so much easier. So let me show you guys the cheat sheet. I promise it's not going to be a whole 30 minutes of me cleaning windows or anything like that. I just had to share the cheat sheet because it's so much easier because, okay, let me give you a quick story on the windows, right? So my son, well, my son told me that I broke his screen. I was holding his phone and then when I gave him the phone back, the screen was broke. He said, I broke it. I don't know. I don't think I broke it, but he said he did. He said I did. Um, my keys was like next to the phone. So maybe the keys cracked the screen. So anyways, we had to go get the phone fixed. So we went to this place where they fix, um, like computers, phones and all this stuff. Right. And I don't know. <laughs> I looked at their doors and I was screaming in the inside. Their glass doors was filthy, 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 filthy. But of course they get business anyways, because when you need your phone fixed, you don't care where you get fixed, <laughs> right? But that door was so gross. I mean, it was just gross guys. And the door was so filthy. And I was just like, I'm not going to, I don't want no one saying that about my doors. So anyways, I found a cheat sheet on the doors. Let me show you guys. It's so easy. So easy. When you don't feel like grab me the bucket, get in the soap, get in the vinegar, all of that. Let me show you what I did. It is so easy. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you want to grab this glass plus glass cleaning wipes from Dollar Tree. Yes, you heard that right, Dollar Tree. And this is also from Dollar Tree. This is the secret weapon right here, guys. So all you have to do, right? If you use this by itself, it doesn't work to my standards. Let's just say that. <laughs> because it still leaves the streaks. So I'm just gonna pull this here. And I'm doing this because I have the camera on one hand. Okay, alrighty, okay, okay, okay. I just need one, just need one, just, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it guys, I got it, I'm good. <laughs> so anyways, all you do is wipe your door like this, like literally wipe it, right? My doors are like super clean because I'm like super obsessed, but just want to show you guys the cheat sheet, right? So you can see, can you guys see that? Here's something with no white and then here's like the white. You can see a little bit. And I'm going to show you the way, the Patricia way, right? <laughs> All you have to do is just do this, yo. And it just does the work for you. Oh my goodness, my phone is ringing. Don't know who's calling. But this is all you have to do. I just had to share that. 
I had to share that for the busy business owners that don't have time for this. Mm -hmm. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. All right, guys. I'm back. That was a scam likely call. So anyways, let me show you guys some other things that I've been doing around here. So look what I got. Look what I got, guys. I have my cards in. So I have my cards. And the thing that you want to know is that they're laminated. Yep, they're laminated. And I make sure my numbers are nice and big on there. And that's that. Oh, 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 one more thing. So I have this contact card sheet, right? So once I use the top part, I go ahead and cut it off. And basically I have it near the phone because this is like creating a lead. So if someone calls, they're asking for information, I make sure I take down their information, I take down the notes, and then, and then, I take it over here to my office, right over here. And this is the sheet, like I said. And then I place it in that basket right there. I was supposed to put a plant there, but this is the system I'm using right now. So every week I'll go into the basket and then I follow up and see what's going on with that lead. So basically I'm creating my own leads and you know never know if i never was able to convert these leads you know when we get really busy and we're training someone we could train them to call the leads that were never converted mm -hmm. you could go ahead and steal that if you want to i'm okay with it i'm okay go ahead and steal that idea all right guys <laughs> All right guys, so what do I have on the agenda today? So of course, the first thing I do when I come in, I check my email, I have breakfast. Today I have two quotes that I need to write, a his and hers. I also spoke to one of my girlfriends last week. She is an administrator at a assisted living facility. So I have to send some emails to her about the business and all of that and she's gonna pass on my information so yeah I have a few things I need to do this morning and I think I'm going to focus on social media today because my business is really 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 like um all about social media so yeah so 50% sale 50% marketing and branding that's basically what we do that's what we do here. So anyways, I'll see you guys on the next clip, right? When I turn this camera back on, we're going to vibe. This is, this is, this is, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So what I like to do on Mondays, I like to post on different Facebook groups. So what I do is first, I post it on my Google My Business page, right? So right now, I'm still kind of tweaking this. I'm working out the system to see how it will work for me. So anyway, so first, I create the post on Canva. I figure out what my topic is going to be. Then I post it on Google My Business. And then I take that post and I copy it and paste it on to different groups. Now, eventually, what I want to do is I want to use these posts for all of my social media platforms, right? So it's an idea that I start with and then I just trickle it down. So right now I post it on my Google My Business and then I post them on Facebook groups. But what I would like to eventually do is post it on Google My Business, create a blog to my website and create a YouTube video to like the med, then post it to the groups so that way every social media platform is kind of like hitting the same thing so that way I'm not creating new content for all these different social media platforms that I'm marketing on. So let me show you this particular post that I did last night, which is Sunday and today is Monday. 
and I'm going to what well, I already post all these to the um, groups but I'll show you what it looks like on Google my business all right guys so here is the post and it just says does Medicare cover long-term care and it is on my Google my business profile okay so here I'm just gonna show you basically I just answered the question does Medicare cover long-term care and then I explained the answer here just giving some great information and at the bottom it just says call now I use the call now button but when I go ahead and transfer this information to the Facebook post I would change that obviously and then I just say call if you need assistance and I'll put the phone number of the business and then I'll also put the address as well so yeah guys that is what I do when it comes to like posting right now but I do want to change this and make it more detailed so I want to like I said create it here and then go ahead and put it on YouTube eventually I want to do Instagram reels yeah it's a lot <laughs> Anyways, that's what I'm doing. Oh, 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 let me talk to you in front of the camera real quick. All right, so I know a lot of people going to say, well, does that work? Well, when you do marketing, you don't know what work, right? So you have to try different things to see what works for you. Everyone's market is a little different. There's so many different Facebook groups out there. So it just depends. If that Facebook group is lacking that information, if there's a lot of seniors on there, it could be very beneficial. So you have to kind of test it out and try it out. Some platforms is going to be a lot more beneficial than others. So I had received a direct message from posting and this particular person was an agent. <laughs> And she literally sent me a direct message and asked me if there was a lot of agents in this area. I asked the question, whatever. Hmm. It but, looks like you haven't set up my message yet. Oh my gosh. So, so anyways, so yeah. So she literally sent me a message asking me about if it's overcrowded down here with agents because she wants to move down here. She sent me a message. Somebody seen the post and they sent me a message. Was she looking for insurance? No. So that happened. And then I had a call. So someone literally called me and said, I'm just looking outside. So anyways, I got a call. Someone literally called me and said, um, how did you become a member of the group? And I was like, you literally called me to ask me that? Yes. She did. She called me to ask that. And I say, ma'am, if you can see the post, you are also a member of the group. She's like, oh, really? <laughs> and I was like, yes. And she's like, how do I post? And I was like, and I told her how to post. So I got that call. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you later. Well, hi, guys. Good morning. So today is Tuesday and today we have orientation at the Chambers. So I'm excited. So the Chambers is basically an organization that a small business, big business <laughs> can join and you get to network with other businesses. So we have orientation today from 12 to noon. So I will be going to that and I'm very excited. I just can't wait to meet other businesses and network and things like that. Now, from what I have heard, that sometimes these networking groups have clicks, but I'm not going to let that, I'm not even gonna like put that negative stuff in my head, but several people have told me that. So I'm just gonna go and observe and talk to people and mingle and just experience it for myself. And I will take my camera and see what I can film. So I'll take you guys along with me. Um, they're going to be serving lunch because it's from 12 to 1. So yeah, I'll be locking the office and all of that around that time and just go right ahead and go over there. It's literally around the corner, so it should be fine. 
um what else today okay so i also have a quote that i need to go ahead and call a potential client i need to go ahead and call her today and give her the quote a his and her life insurance quote and also i have someone that i need to talk to um someone moved their dad down here from north carolina move into a nursing facility a skilled nursing facility and they need to go ahead and change his medicare advantage plan so i have to make that call as well and that's pretty much my morning <laughs> I just had from someone that found me on life and med YouTube channel it's so funny because a lot of these people when they call me they say I seen you on that commercial or I seen you on the TV and I'm just like okay I take it whatever <laughs> it's on YouTube but you know everybody calls it something different so yeah she just called me how old is he he's 62 looking for health insurance um so yeah so i gave him a quote for a obamacare plan um and also i gave him information to apply for medicaid as well because if he applies for medicaid then you don't need the obamacare obviously but this was a good plan i found two quotes for him but i told him to go ahead and apply for the medicaid first People say I spend too much time with my clients, but I don't think I do. Whatever. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, so I found one that's $0 per month, a $400 deductible. No, not that one. This one. So I found one that was $0 per month with a $625 deductible, no charge after the deductible or... $34 a month, zero deductible, doctor visits are zero dollars. So those are the two quotes that I gave him. And I also told him to go ahead and apply for Medicaid as well. And if he doesn't get the Medicaid, give me a call back. I like to just give people the resources that they need. So anyways, that is it. Oh, when it comes to Medicaid, if the person is my Medicare client, look at my hair. I feel like it's like trying to like... Anyways, <laughs> I don't know why it looks like that on the top. Because I, okay, anyways. So, so anyways, guys, when it comes to Medicaid, if the person is my Medicare client, I would do the Medicaid application. But if someone is just asking information about Medicaid, then I will go ahead and refer them to the Medicaid office. Because I don't get paid for doing the Medicaid services part. But if they're my client, I'll do that part. I'll do it for them. So anyways, that is it. That is it. Um, it's 10.30. I haven't eaten. I made quite a few calls this morning. I made several calls this morning. I have to make another call, actually. I need to call this guy's son to have him sign the scope of appointment. So I can start researching his Medicare Advantage needs. So I'm gonna make that call right now. Let me call him right now, actually. He's at work. Let me see, let me get the number. So far, all my business has been from referrals and people finding my information from Either walk-ins, YouTube, 
pretty much that's where I've been getting my business from so far. I need to get some breakfast before I go to this meeting. Hi. the scope of appointment to a power of attorney for my potential client well he's gonna be my client but anyways um so let me just explain to you guys how this works because literally this is my first time doing this so anyway so this particular potential client client <laughs> so this client is at a skilled nursing facility he moved down here in florida and so he needed to change over his Medicare Advantage plan. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to call the assisted living and I'm going to find out all the Advantage plans that they accept. So once I have that list, I will do all of my research. But first, I needed the scope of appointment from the power of attorney, which is his sign. So I went ahead, I fill out the information, I sent him the scope of appointment, I walk him through how to sign the scope of appointment, Pretty simple, easy process. Then I ask him for the actual documentation that he is power of attorney. Probably should have asked that documentation first. <laughs> so anyway, so I asked for the documentation. So I have the documentation now and I'm going to upload that to my HubSpot. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to input all of the information into HubSpot. Let them know, you know, I'm talking to the daughter. I'm talking to the son. The son is the power of attorney and you know, just basically documenting my documentation in HubSpot. I'm going to upload the POA information as well. And I'm going to call the assistant living ask for the list of the uh, Medicare Advantage plans that they take. And then I'm going to collect all his information and you know, basically go over the plans with the daughter per the power of attorney saying it's okay for me to do that and then of course he is the one that's going to say give us the green light to say okay this is the plan or whatever the case may be and of course he would sign the actual um enrollment right so that's what i'm doing just in case you you know ever run into this situation keep the documentation as well for your records. Number one, it shows that you are a professional. Number two, it shows that you understand the language that says power of attorney, things like that. That's why I say nurses, this is a great transition for nurses, social workers, therapists, anyone that is in the healthcare field. Medicare is a great transition because you already understand so much of the terminology. So I'm going to do that. It's 11 o'clock already. I have that meeting I have to head to at 12 in one hour and I have not eaten any breakfast. I may just skip breakfast at this point. So let me go ahead and put that in. Maybe I just grab me a cup of tea and yeah, get to work. All right, I hope you guys understood what I just said. <laughs> all right guys, so I'm off to orientation. I didn't have anything to eat at all. But it's okay, I was still working on my case, so let's go guys. Make sure I have business cards.
just came back from the chamber. It was really nice. I couldn't record inside because the room was really small and it would have been really obvious that I had a camera because we was all sitting around the table. It was about 10 different businesses and it was really, really well. So let me tell you who I connected with. So basically it was like orientation and we had lunch. So everyone went around the room and introduced themselves and their businesses. So this guy right here, let me... Okay, okay. So anytime fitness. So he basically we talked. We talked about Silver Sneakers. So Silver Sneakers is a program that a Medicare Advantage plans have attached to it and seniors can go to the gym. So he gave me his card. He's going to be opening up in September. So I'm definitely going to go reach out to him, take a tour of the gym and you know network with him. So that was very exciting to meet him with her so I met with her she's a realtor and she's moving into the area she's going to purchase an office or rent an office or whatever the case may be in the area and I gave her my card and me and her can definitely be a resource to each other so a realtor really sweet girl met her I'm so excited to connect with her because she's going to really be able to help me with some resources, okay? So this is a church, a local church in the area. They have an amazing, amazing organization. Literally gave me chill bumps. <laughs> oh my gosh, they do so many great things for the community. So I want to volunteer. So I want to volunteer with this church. Um, and they help with... Oh my gosh, they have free medical services. They help with housing. They do so many great things. So I'm going to connect with her. And I already have someone that I'm going to call right now that has been reaching out to me. Let me talk about this person. All right, guys. So anyways, an individual had came to my office the first week that I opened that needed some resources for their son. So I'm going to call them literally right now because... Oh my gosh, his mom is such a sweetheart. She's been calling me literally like every week. Like, Patricia, I need help. I need insurance for my son. I don't know what to do. But I couldn't help him because he is not working. So I couldn't help him get Obamacare and they cannot afford health insurance either. So I didn't know the solutions. You know, and my office is a Medicare resource center. We want to connect with other businesses to give the community resources. So I'm going to call her literally right now and let her know that they could call this medical center and get her son some health, um, like, like they have a clinic. They have a clinic. They have to show proof that they don't have any money or whatever. They don't have any resources and he can go to the clinic free of charge. I can't wait to call her. And these are all the resources at this, um, Christian organization church. Oh my God. This is like the brochure that she gave me. So really cool. Just some great, great information. And they need volunteers. So I would definitely be one of the volunteers. Yay. <laughs> Good morning guys. Today is Wednesday. So this morning I am going to take a ring light that I got from home. Show you the ring light. And this ring light is actually an extra one. And I'm going to place it over my computer. I have the ring light and I'm going to just set it up real quick. Doesn't even make sense Why I think about you It was only one night Only that time And it's not my style To be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk It's blurry but I've got the image of you Running circles in my mind right Alright guys let's test out the lighting so I'm going to do a test and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so I have my Logitech webcam. I have my light, obviously. Have the zoom and then I have the natural light in the room. I'm gonna show you how it looks. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and do a new meeting. Okay, so let's use computer audio. And then right here, I'm gonna say, okay, so Logitech is on. So I wanna make sure my Logitech is on. All right, guys, so this is how it looks, right? I'm gonna turn off the light so that way you can see how that looks without the light. Okay, so that's how it looks without the light. Um, can you see how the screen is moving? You see how that's moving? So that's from this light and I don't know why it's doing that and I don't like that. So that's why I got this light to make sure I have enough light. So let me go ahead and turn off the light. So turn off the light here. Okay, let's see. So can you see the difference? It stopped doing that, right? Um, yeah, so it stopped doing that. Now I'm going to turn on this light. <laughs> so let's turn on this light. Okay. All right, so you see the difference? So now I have some good lighting and I also have this light right here. Let's turn that on too, let's see how that looks. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to bring this one over. It's a smaller one. So bring that one over. We're just going to see the difference. I have on a skirt today, guys. I was feeling so girly today when I got when I got up. I was like, I want to look girly. So I have on a skirt. So anyways, I have to plug this in. So I have on that light. Now I have now I have all the lighting on. So what do you guys think? I like it. <laughs> all right guys, so uh, this is what this whole setup is giving me. It's giving me like so let's have this meeting. It's giving me, so what are we doing for dinner tonight? <laughs> it's giving me all of the vibes that it needs to be giving me. What do you guys think about the setup? Yes, girl. Yes. I just literally gave you guys the setup. Like, who? Like, really? Like, who? Like, I need to know. I need to know what Medicare agent out here doing this. I I need you to tell me, like, girl, if you don't subscribe and stop playing with me, uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell. So when your girl pop through, you're like, there she is. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out why some of you guys are just watching. I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to figure it out. Let me know. <laughs> so anyways, I just want to show you guys really quick what it looks like off one more time. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off. Off. Okay, so that's how that's looking. Not too bad. Not too bad. Now we're going to turn off the major ring light. Off. Okay, and this is what it's giving me, guys. This is what it's giving me. So, catfish? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Catfish? <laughs> Let's put that back on. <laughs> so, that's what that is giving me with the just the smaller light and then the bigger light. Okay, guys, that's what you're getting. Like, yes, like, I just want me to tell you guys, like, I love it. <laughs> I 
All right, guys, see you later. <laughs> Alright guys, so I was just on the radio. Oh, a little nervous, but I did good. I did good. So I was with them, with these guys. Yeah, I took some pictures. It was fun. It was such a I could have been there all morning. They didn't want me to leave. But it was so nice to talk about Medicare when she you enroll and all of that. That was very exciting. And I definitely, definitely gonna do it again. All right. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Today is Thursday evening. Tomorrow is Friday. I know it's going to be really busy for me tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So I'm just sitting here, um, yeah, taking thumbnails. For you guys, you know. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye now.